In the time that I've been 3D printing, there's one question that I've gotten on quite a few occasions that always seems to stump me. And that question goes something along the lines of, well, what can I print with a spool of filament? Or how many parts can I print with a spool of filament? And this is a question that's coming from someone that either has never 3D printed before, um, is, you know, doesn't know a whole lot about 3D printing, is maybe looking to get into it and just doesn't have a whole lot of background, but it's just such a complicated question to answer for me. I understand from an outsider's perspective, it seems like it'd be simple. Here's a spool, how many parts can I make? Well, for any of us that have been 3D printing, we know that one, not all spools are the same size. Two, depending on the material you're printing with its density, uh, that could have an effect on the length of the spool. How solid your part is, how many walls or infill there are, what's the size of the part? There's just so many factors involved, which usually leads me to answering with a very complicated answer. Well, for a while now, I've been wanting to take that question and sort of answer it in a more simplistic way with a visual representation. So for this, I bought one kilogram of PLA and we are going to be printing out a entire kilogram of PLA to see just what we can print with one spool of PLA filament. Over the past week, I put together a list of different items that basically after being sliced equate to a full roll of filament. So I know that these things will equate to the entire spool. And with each item, I'm going to show you one, how much filament it took to print this part, how many of these parts you could make with an entire spool of filament, and we will add them all up to finally go to the final kilogram of filament. And the reason why I chose PLA is because PLA is arguably the most popular or common filament used in desktop 3D printing, especially if you're somebody new to 3D printing, there is a very high chance that PLA will be what you're starting off with. So I figured that would make the most sense. And we're gonna be using a one kilogram roll of material because although there's different size, uh, different grams of filament out there, like 500 or three quarters of kg, I feel like one kilogram is the most common and that's the reason why we're gonna be using that for this testing. All of the parts in this were sliced the exact same way, which is with 20% infill for anybody that's wondering. So I'm pretty excited to actually go ahead and get printing because quite a few of the parts that I chose to print out are actually functional things that I just need for around the house or that Aaron's asked me for. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So as I mentioned for all of these items on the top right, you can see just how many of each of these things you can make with that entire spool of filament so you have an idea. So for example, the Spenchy boat, you could print out 71 of them and the bottom right corner will tell you how many grams of filament each part takes. So this Matter Hacker's 3D fill took 64 grams of filament and the number on the bottom is each time I do a print, I add them to the total number of grams we've used. That way we know how many uh, grams of filament we have left till we're out of our 1000 gram or one kilogram spool. All of these models are free to download. I found them all over on Thingiverse and I'll place links down below to each and every one. So if you have a 3D printer or you get a 3D printer and you see a model that you think is awesome or that you want for yourself, you can head over there and print one out for yourself also. I went ahead and printed out some functional parts, some knickknacks and doodads and just kind of things of various size so that way you can get a real idea of uh, how many parts or how much filament each and every one of these different things would take to print out. Show. 
I will say that even with as much 3D printing as I have done, I was actually surprised with how many parts I was able to print out. Normally when I'm 3D printing, I'll print out a couple of pieces with a spool, then I'll swap it out for a different color or a different material. And a lot of my filaments that I have, I've had them for many months, some of them even years at this point. So to print back to back to back all these different things and add the weight to the final total and be like, huh, like I still have that much to go. It was pretty exciting even for me to see. Let me know in the comments down below if you were also surprised with just how many different things I was able to print, especially with the birdhouse being such a massive print. Hopefully for those of you that are either interested in 3D printing or maybe considering getting into 3D printing, this helped you by giving you again, just a visual representation of what you can expect to print with one kilogram of PLA, again, with my 20% infill settings. 3D printing is such an awesome technology, whether it's for work, whether it's just for fun projects or things around the house or whatever your use case is, it is awesome. And I'm hoping by making some videos like this, I might be able to help out some of these more simplistic questions that I think are just kind of overlooked in a way. If you do have any other questions about any of this or anything I discussed in this video or did not discuss in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. I make a video every single Saturday, so there is always fresh content coming your way. If you do wanna support the channel furthermore, I'll place links down below in the description to my Patreon where there are some really awesome rewards. And as always, thank you to all of my current Patreons. You guys are amazing and I really appreciate you guys allowing me to spend more time doing what I love, which is making content for you guys. On that note, this has been Daniel from ModBot, and I'm out. Peace, guys.